one. Okay, that's a good boy. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take a look at making the scary voices effect. Uh, I learned this trick back in 1986 from uh, this magazine right here and an interview that Mr. Alan Howarth gave and, he, and he's the guy that did all the sound effects for Poltergeist. So uh, I'm going to take you over how to make the Poltergeist effect. Okay, so for this example I'm just going to use Logic. I use a lot of different uh, applications from uh, Ableton Live to Reaper, but for this example I'm just going to use Logic. So. Um, Here's, I actually recorded my son, he went to go see How to Train Your Dragon, so I recorded him telling me, uh, telling me about the dragons. Oh, uh, dragon is a sweet one. Okay, that's a good boy. So, we're going to use this recording as the basis to make the, the classic poltergeist effect. So I'm just going to drag this to an audio track in Logic, and I'm going to clean up a couple of things here. I'm just going to roll off at the low end because I don't really need any, any of that energy down there. And I will add just a basic reverb, go to Space Designer, and let's see, let's find something that's got kind of a long haul. And let's do, let's do Dream Hall. So we'll listen to that. Oh, Dragon is a sweet one. Okay, that's a good one. All right. So now we have reverb on that track. So I'm just going to come down here to the sample and reverse the sample. We'll play it again. All right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to bounce this track in place. I'm going to put it on a new track and let's call it. All right, so we come back over here and we listen to the voice that printed it with the reverb backwards. All right, so now all we have to do is I'm going to move this out of the way, come down here, and let's reverse it again, and let's have a listen to it. Right, so let's add one more effect to this. I also like adding uh, delays to these, so I'm gonna just mute Space Designer and let's add in a delay. I'm just gonna add in a simple stereo delay. And bring this over here. We'll turn up the output mix just a little bit. Increase the feedback a little. And let's unmute this. So I'll mute this track, and I'm going to bounce this track as well. And again, it is backwards with the delay. So I'll do another thing. And we will bounce in place, put it to a new track. We'll call this the delay one. Delay track. All right, so now we have a reverse reverb track and a reverse delay track. So I actually don't have a reverse re reverse delay track quite yet. Still have to go into here and let's reverse this again. So we'll have a listen to the reverse delay track. All right, so let's listen to the two together. And just to kind of blend everything in a little bit together, I'm just going to add in some reverb on the delay track. And I'll just use the, uh, the one that comes, comes up, no big deal. All right, bounce that down and that will be basically how you can create the poltergeist effect. And you can keep adding tracks and keep mixing uh, in different elements, but there you have the basis for the poltergeist slash scary voice effect. Try it out.